and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a proposed e-bike, e-scooter ban, this time from the Toronto Transit Commission, that's the TTC, wanting to ban e-bikes and e-scooters seasonally between November 15th and April 15th. So this report that I saw here in the Toronto Star, I wanted to quote some of it uh, from what uh, they had to say. So here's some of the, the um, story about this. So TTC proposed winter ban on e-bikes and e-scooters would deal a blow to gig workers. A report heading to the board on the Public Transit Agency next Tuesday proposes banning e-bikes and e-scooters from the TTC between November and April. A TTC proposed calls for banning or proposal calls for banning e-bikes and e-scooters on public transit between November and April over safety concerns. The TTC is proposing a seasonal ban on electric powered bicycles and scooters on transit due to concerns about their catching fire. A move delivery riders say will hit them hard during their busiest season. In a report going to the TTC board on Tuesday, the transit agency staff are recommending a system-wide pro, uh, prohibition on the lithium-ion battery proposed mobility devices from November 15th to April 15th every year. So I'm going to stop right there for a moment because I feel bad for, for the delivery workers. I feel bad for also the disabled because they use mobility scooters to get around and they get down to the say the subway in Toronto and then they go to their destination you know and they get off on their scooter how are they going to do that now do they have to just use their scooter and go from one end of the city if they need to to the other without being able to use public transit I don't like it I also don't like the fires so I don't know what you do about this situation I think we got to get those batteries um, so that they're in a situation where we're not having fires. And, you know, considering how many bikes are out there, electric bikes and scooters, we have very few fires considering the amount that are out there. But still, we want to have zero. We don't want any fires if we can help it. I mean, accidents do happen, but if they're happening a lot, then, yeah, there's got to be something done. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do in this situation. I think they're working on different battery situations, but uh, nothing yet. Um, at least that's going to be across the board here. Okay, so in our report going to the TTC, I already read that part. So fluctuating temperatures can cause condensation and lithium plating, increasing the likelihood of short circuits and fires, according to the report. The difficulty in verifying battery, battery integrity and exposure to road conditions, such as salt or de-icing compounds during winter, further heightens these risks. The report also said there are further safety concerns because of a lack of regulation around the devices and because of the heightened fire risk that uncertain, uncertified or misused lithium batteries pose. The TTC's proposed ban comes in a wake of several high-profile fires attributed to e-bikes. Last October, two people were hospitalized after an e-bike caught fire in a residential high-rise in Yorkville. On New Year's Eve, an e-bike sparked a dramatic fire aboard a Shepard Young TTC subway car and sent a man in his 30s to hospital. On Monday, a woman was injured after a fire broke out among several e-bikes in an underground parking garage in uh, Forest Hill. Overall, fires caused lithium-ion batteries used in e-bikes nearly doubled from 2022 to 2023, from 29 fires to 55 fires in Toronto, according to the city's fire services. While e-scooters are already illegal in Toronto, e-bikes are not. But the TTC already doesn't allow e-bikes on, on its bus bike uh, racks because of their weight and because their large size means they often don't fit properly. The TTC plans to empower frontline uh, staff to intervene and educate customers about the ban should it pass with warnings and fines as a last resort. So I wanted to get the story out there because I wanted to get your take, the public out there. What do you think of it? I think we need to get these batteries in a situation where they're safe, maybe get them uh, um, certified 
so that we can uh, feel a little more comfortable with uh, the batteries and we're not using cheap batteries or getting uh, you know messed with uh, manipulated in any way um, I don't think anybody should be opening up and monkeying with the uh, battery but uh, who, who am I to say I mean that's just me but uh, we need to make it safe for everybody out there I can understand both sides of this I really feel bad for the uh, for the disabled though in this case uh, because uh, if this uh, goes through, then, you know, what are they? They're left out in the cold, literally out in the cold on their scooters to get around. So let me know what you think on this story. Do you think there should be a ban? Do you think, do you think this will happen? If you're in Toronto, what do you think of this? Do you like this idea? I've already seen where they're banning or they're going to close, looking at closing anyway, some of the bike lanes that they just opened. Makes no sense to me, none. And I don't understand it. Uh, you know, why would you spend thousands, of, hundreds of thousands maybe of dollars? I don't know how much it costs to put bike lanes in and then a month later uh, want to uh, remove them. Makes no sense. So in one, on one hand, they want electric bikes and electric scooters and around, but then on the other hand, they're saying, no, we don't want that. So which is it? I mean, Let's all get on the same page, move forward. I think we can work things out. I think, you know, there's there's room for everybody out there. You know, there's room for e-bikes, just as there's room for uh, pedestrians to walk. There's room for cars, although cars are getting a little bit, maybe less and less if we allow the e-bikes, which is, which is good. So let me know your take on this, what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the comments below. If you have any uh, ideas uh, or thoughts on this, um, I see both sides. Uh, I see the dangers of the fire. We don't want that. And like I say here, I've never seen or heard of a, of a fire in my immediate area. I've never had any situations with battery problems. Not to say that it could, couldn't happen, but I haven't had it. And um, nor do I want it to happen. And uh, but then I can see the other side where people need that um, public transit, you know, uh, and be able to carry their uh, e-bikes and e-scooters on to get around, get them there quicker to the one spot where they do their deliveries or whether they have a, a doctor appointment, be it a, uh, a disabled person. Um, you know, let's let's try to work work around this and figure out a solution rather than just banning uh, the e-bikes and e-scooters. That's my take on it. Uh, let me know again, uh, as I mentioned, what you think in the uh, comments below. So that's going to do it for this video. I just thought I'd bring this to everyone's attention if you haven't already heard the story. And I wanted to know what your opinions are on this. Should it come to your city um, at some point? So go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. And that's going to do it for this video. And let's be safe out there. Let's all get along. And hey, until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.